starting today's vlog at Lowe's. Just picking up a few things for the vegetable garden. Here at the park. It's just a gorgeous day. Gotta gotta take advantage of these days. I thought that six of these bags would be plenty to fill that, but I underestimated the size of this extension. I want to explain today's passage. Today's day 341. We're looking at the first six chapters of Hebrews. Um, I want to explain it to you in this way. Before we dive into today's reading, I want to play a little game. And in this game, you are going to choose between two things as to which you believe I think is the better or the greater of those two things. This is our super duper fancy greater than symbol. And first up in this game, you are going to decide which you believe I think is the greater of the two sports, football or football. And if you know me at all, you know it will be football, not football. Next, we are going to look at traveling via car on a road trip and flying on an airplane. Now, there are definitely perks to driving. I do enjoy a good road trip, but I think with this one, I'm going to have to go with flying. That flying is definitely greater than, better than going on a road trip. This is high level art here, as you can tell. This is a pillow, and we're going to bring in some food. This pizza, picture of a pizza represents food. Now this can be based on particular situations, but in the current state that I am in, I think I would have to go with sleep. Two little ones running around, busy life. Man, if I could sleep, that would be wonderful. As we turn our attention to these first six chapters of Hebrews, really how we can encapsulate these chapters is this idea of greater than, and Jesus in particular, how he's greater than particular things mentioned here. The first thing we see is that Jesus is greater than the angels. We have this little halo here. That is a halo, yes, and it represents angels. And sometimes people will consider angels to be greater than Jesus. And what also this idea of the angel brings is like a spiritual experience. But Jesus is greater than angels and spiritual experiences. Next, we're going to see, and this really starts in chapter 3, 
that Jesus is greater than Moses. And we're going to use this staff to represent Moses because it would be really difficult to draw Moses. And this was huge for the people of Israel because Moses was everything. And Moses was the most important figure in their history. And to say that Jesus was greater than Moses to a Jewish audience was profound. But that is the reality. Jesus is greater than Moses. Next, we see high priests talked about. And we're going to use the high priest uh, breastplate. And the letters here represent the first letters of the tribes of Israel that were on the breastplate of the high priest. And while the high priest, he was a big deal. Uh, that without the high priest, you really couldn't perform the necessary functions of the people of Israel, that Jesus, not only is he greater than the high priest, but he is the ultimate high priest that we look to, that intercedes for us. And lastly, in chapter 6, this might not seem as clear, but I'm going to throw in this image of an anchor here. And what I mean by this is that the anchor represents things in our lives that are sure, that are solid, they're anchors that we can trust in. And even the most trustworthy things in life are not greater than Jesus himself, that Jesus is the most trustworthy thing, and he is our ultimate anchor that we hope and that we trust in, nothing else on this earth. I believe we are faced with this, not just every day, but almost every moment of every day, that we are seeing and comparing things to Jesus. And we have to work through our mind and our heart, not factually, but just how we're going to live. Do I really believe that Jesus is greater than whatever this thing is in my life? And am I going to submit to him and trust him for all things instead of trusting in these other things in life that might make me feel good for a small season But in the end, they leave me dissatisfied. 